<laughs> and I want to make a prediction too, just a sidebar. I wonder how many potato farmers are going to, if we have an early frost, watch for this this year. It could happen. It might not. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the harvest just happens and it is what it is. Right. But um, will they say, hey, come and glean our fields because they're all going to freeze overnight if you don't? Right. I thought, did I see one last week? Did you? Yeah, I don't know. But if I've you done saw it once one before. last week and didn't tell me, then you are a rat bastard. Have you ever gone gleaning before? It's, no, I've never even heard of it. It's kind of fun. I should know because like, I love potatoes and I know a lot of farmers. Yeah. But like, sometimes their machines leave a few stragglers. Okay. And you can just go and boink, 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 take a 10 pound bag home. <laughs> really? Yeah. Now, I've heard of Ontario Roadkill, which is kind of similar. Is that the same as Roadkill Cuisine that we've touched on the last couple episodes? It's more of a little accoutrement to your roadkill cuisine. Okay. Apparently, right now in Ontario, Washington, is onion harvesting season. Oh. And when they load them on the trucks... Near Walla Walla, Washington. Exactly. And also the border of, Red- the border of Idaho. Uh, sometimes when they're on the trucks, the onions will roll off because they're around and that's what they do. <laughs> and so if you're driving down the highway, you might see some onions sitting on the side of the highway. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that onions are round? I am. It's okay. not Minecraft. And, onions and, and, are round. And, and you can go and glean them? You can go and glean them. Okay. I'm just saying that you could have a really nice evening if you went to Ontario, you picked up a couple of onions, and then you drove all the way back to Idaho Falls, and you gleaned a few potatoes, and then you made yourself a nice stew. Uh, and maybe on the way, run into a deer in Washington... Yeah, and you got a full meal. Is Washington one of the states? I think that they're lets a roadkill you? state. Yeah. Okay, good. I think good you mentioned them, them last episode. Go. Okay, that's the move then. All right, <laughs> and pick up some weed while you're at it. <laughs> right, right. I mean, realistically, <laughs> if you're on that, then anything will taste good. <laughs> Did you hear about that crazy incident at Grand Teton Mall? Oh, the one where uh, there was apparently an attempted kidnapping. Someone was trying to take a baby out of a stroller, and they. Like, security didn't do anything. Yeah. And then the lady who posted it right was surprised that the Allegedly, Grand- at least. Allegedly. <laughs> and then surprised that the Grand Teton Mall didn't have security cameras. I mean, I... You know what? As someone who doesn't work there, but who has in the past, I know that when I was working there, they didn't have shit. The stores individually can choose to have security cameras. They can choose to, but most of them don't. But inside the mall itself, and I think in the exterior, they don't. And I shared her outrage. When I read that, I was like, yeah, get with the times. Right. But then also I had this other thought, which is, it's a stark reminder that Idaho Falls, Idaho is still behind the times in some aspects. Well, and realistically. What mall doesn't have security cameras? Come on. Right. Well, and also, if I, a citizen, can go on Amazon and buy two cameras, four cameras for 30 bucks, mm-hmm. which I totally can, by the way. Yeah, HD now. Why can't y'all? And yeah, we alluded earlier in the episode to outsiders coming here to East Idaho, and we, as East Idahoans, have to adjust. Right, right. Right? Like, okay, this is happening now. Well, I guess we better up our security, but... Well, and I will say, too, also, even just people who live here being more, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Getting ideas from cable TV and rock music. And internet. Yeah, (laughs) basically, being exposed to, that sort of, exposed to the internet... Like, yeah, eventually people are going to get ideas. You know, they see people in big cities doing these things and they're like, oh, I can do that in my teeny tiny town. (laughs) When when you have a population base of 10, things are pretty much kept in line. Mm -hmm. When you have a population base of a million, things can kind of get crazy. It's a little hard to keep track of folks. We're moving from 10 to a million. Right. Eventually. It's going to be a while. But yes, these are growing pains that we're having. Right. And I do think that it's cool that we're becoming more and more cosmopolitan. Oh, I agree. But we definitely need secure. I mean, in this day and age, 